So yeah. Right. Next pack of Pokemon X and Y. So, start with our first type Pokemon. Common. Timber. 70 health. Retreat cost of 2. Quite high. Weak to Psychic type. Pommel. One fighting, one colourless. Flip a coin. If heads, the attack does 20 more damage. Not bad. For 50% chance of 40 damage for a uh, first stage basic Pokemon. Evolves into Gerda that we saw in the last pack. Not bad. Not bad. Next. Pawniard. 60 health, steel type. Uh, retreat cost of only one, not bad. Two times weak to fire. Resist psychic. Good for backing up your fighting type Pokemon. One colorless energy, cut down. Flip a coin. If heads, discard an energy attached to your Poke your opponent's active Pokemon. Good way to uh, stop your opponent being able to do some of his dirty tricks. One steel, one colours, metal claw, 30 damage. For a basic type Pokemon, 30 damage for 2 energy is not too bad. I like him, but again, not perfect. Spoink, 60 HP, psychic type. With a weakness to psychic type. Retreat cost of only 1. Splash, 1 psychic energy for 10 damage. Almost the epitome of a basic type Pokemon. I don't know if he'll see a huge amount of play outside of uh, fans of acute pigs with a spring tail. Bidoof. Normal type. 60 health. Retreat cost of 3. Quite a hefty cost to pay. Weakness of fighting type. Hyper Fang. 40, he 40 damage for 2 energy. Flip a coin. If Tails is attacked, does nothing. So for 2 energy, you have a 50% chance to do nothing. 40 is high for a basic type Pokemon, but I'm not sure I like the potential downsides. Rhyhorn. Classic. 80 health fighting type. Retreat cost of 3, quite hefty. 2 times weakness, 2 grass. 1 fighting energy, dig out. 10 damage. Discard the top card of your deck. If that card is a fighting energy card, attach it to this Pokemon. Not a bad way to thin your deck while dealing 10 damage. Also, help set you up for your Horn Drill attack. One fighting, two colourless Horn Drill. Straight 40 damage. With an inbuilt way to attach the damage to it, Horn Drill becomes much more effective than other abilities of a similar type. Also good for when you can eventually get evolve him into Rhydon. Foil B Drill, 170 HP, Grass type Pokemon. Retreat cost of only one, two times weak to fire. Poison Jab, one Grass energy, 20 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. I like that ability. For one energy, you get 20 damage and a debilitating effect that causes more damage. Good. 2 Grass Energy, Flash Needle, 40x. Flip 3 coins, this attack does 40 damage times the number of heads. If all of them are heads, prevent all effects of attacks including damage done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. For 2 energy, we can get the potential for a lot of damage. And if you get super lucky, get your 3 heads, you prevent a lot of stuff coming back onto your own Beedrill. It's not likely to happen very often, but in those games where it does happen, you're going to be laughing through the rest of it. I'm quite a fan of Beedrill, both inside the uh, computer games and now in the TCG. Tauros. Normal type Pokemon. Retreat cost of 2. 2 times weak to fire. Take down 1 energy. 30 damage. Does 10 damage to itself. It's not good to do damage to yourself, but with a high health pool and only one energy cost, it's not a terrible attack. Seething Anger, 30x damage for three colourless energy. 
Flip a coin for each damage counter on this Pokemon. This attack does 30 damage times the number of heads. So, nice little combination between the two abilities. You damage yourself with takedown. You have the potential to do a lot more damage with Seething Anger. Potentially useful way to take out a uh, big, bad Pokemon that your uh, opponent tries to bring into play while you've got Taurus out. Other than that, not entirely sure how much play you'd see. Inkay. 60 HP Dark type Pokemon, retreat cost of 1 colours, resists fi uh, Psychic type, 2 times weakness to Fighting type. As a, an ability, Upside Down Evolution. Once during your turn, before you attack, if this Pokemon is confused, you may search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon and put it onto this Pokemon. This counts as evolving this Pokemon. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Not too bad. Particularly given its next ability, Confusion Wave. For one Dark Energy, both active Pokemon are now confused. Gives you a 100% chance to confuse your opponent's Pokemon, unless they have some sort of protection on it, as well as your own, setting you up to evolve your Inkay into its next form. Nice little mechanic. Depends how effective his evolution is. Trainer Card. Max Revive. Put a Pokemon from your discard pile on top of your deck. Not bad if your deck revolves around utilising one particularly badass Pokemon. Could see play. Doesn't seem to have much of a downside other than you, uh, your opponent knows what your next turn's draw is going to be. Spewper. 80 health grass type Pokemon. Retreat cost of 3. 2 times weak to fire. 1 colourless energy. Bug bite. 10 damage. Very basic attack. Stun Spore, 1 Grass, 2 Colourless, 40 damage. Flip a coin, if heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralysed. 50% chance to uh, paralyse your opponent's Pokemon with a reasonable amount of damage. Quite a high score, but since it's 2 Colourless and 1 Grass, works reasonably well in a uh, multicoloured deck. Not bad, not great. Then we have our basic card. The highlights of this pack so far, I think Beedrill, uh, Tauros I'm slightly coming around to, has uh, great potential, and the interactions of the Rhyhorn. Thanks guys.